Hey, what's up? This is Abdullah and welcome back to another video. So yesterday I was scrolling on Facebook and I saw this chick. Um, she posted on a, on a Facebook group. I'll show you the screenshot, but I'm not going to cover the name. So privacy reasons. So basically she said, oh, I spent a lot of time. I'm not sure what she said about she made some interior or whatever. And I'm like, yo, you can make this in on Canva like in five minutes or something like that. And some schmuck laughs at my comments. Actually, I don't really care, but I just may want to make the video, so I'm gonna act as I'm pissed. But yeah, he laughed at my comment, he reacted uh, with the laughing emoji, and I'm here to prove you that you can do it. I mean, yeah, making interiors on Canva, especially the notebook style, is very easy. And actually I found this meme, why not? which I think it's funny too. <laughs> but yeah, so without uh, too much talk, like, subscribe, show me some love, and yeah, you know what to do. As I said, like and subscribe, what else? Comment, and yeah, let's get into it. Uh, okay, so actually I don't know which size that's what I'm going to use. So basically this is what's Oh fuck! Um, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, zoom out. Okay, so this is what we're trying to make here. Okay, this is uh, basic stuff. I don't really see any rocket science here. And actually, um, if you go in to make a notebook and use this instead, uh, like this, uh, more customized, more. You know, it's a little bit better than the, what, 99% uh, of those who publish notebooks out there to use. So this is way better if you go in to make a notebook. I would highly recommend that. Especially if, uh, for a different niche, for example, a notebook for uh, Father's Day, for Mother's Day, da -da -da -da, for Christmas, whatever. Always try to customize the notebook and don't use. I mean, it's not a must, but it's a very good bonus. It's a very good thing. It makes you stand out and all that. Okay, so uh, let's go to Canva. Uh, I don't know which size to pick, uh, six or by nine or eight by. Nine. But here's the thing: I'm just going to go by uh, eight point five. Uh, I mean, eight point five by eleven. Okay, that's what I use a lot. I mean, notebooks. Okay, do you know it's not gonna be for you know. Just gonna use six by nine. Okay, uh, switch to inches height. Uh, nine and width six. Create a new design. Let's go. Okay, wait for it to load. Uh, by the way, I'm actually going to explain as I'm creating this, which going to result on me taking more time. But I don't. I can make it in faster. Uh, like make it faster. But it's not uh, like you. You won't learn a lot. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to click on uh, show rulers. I mean, I would recommend you to memorize the like for the example the shift plus R. It makes you like work way faster. Okay, so yeah, just go here, click and hold and pull to the right. So here's the margins. Uh, you gotta be careful with this. We so we making these margins uh, margins that we should not cross while we're making the interior. All right. So, I mean, typically you sh it should be like uh, 375, but I actually do more just, you never know, maybe my I might cross the line or whatever the case may be. So I always like do like 400 instead of, I mean, just a little tiny zero point this, like it's not going to make that much of a difference, but I don't want the book to get rejected or, I mean, one of the worst things that you can do is work on in interior and all do this especially if the interior has too many different pages and then when you take it and upload it to KDP or wherever uh, they reject it and you have to make the changes all again and all that crap so yeah anyways um, as I said I'm just going to do for around like 400 here uh, so we have 6000 which go into mm, uh, if we uh, minus 400 which is five uh, five thousand and six hundred okay so we're going to go around six hundred six hundred mm, 
like that. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to here. Now um, we're going to go to shape. Click on line, uh, in lines, uh, right it or you can, oops, wrong. Just type line or you can find it there. Just going to pick uh, this one right here. Size should be one. And zoom in. Change the color from black to uh, green, uh, gray. Uh, this uh, line right here we're going to click on control plus d okay or you can click on this i don't i am um, like as i said when you're using the keyboard it's much faster so yeah so you're going to click on uh, uh control plus d or command d uh, I'm, I'm not sure about the macbook uh, anyways just control uh d mo mo many times it doesn't matter i don't really count the lines here The first line and the last line should be in the uh, middle, up and down. Here, go to position and click on tie up, I guess. Okay, now uh, I think we have too many lines here, so we're going to delete few and do the same thing. Repeat. Uh, one thing though, we need to delete few over here from the top. Select them all. Click on Command G or Control G or just click on Group, whatever you like. Now here, uh, just go here and type cor uh, corner. Okay, this is looks uh, the bigger one, so I'm gonna get rid of this one this one okay so what I'm going to do double click or just click on crop and crop this and just take this part now click on done make it a little bit smaller all right click on control D again flip now um here's the thing so as we group to this one we're gonna make it a little bit smaller like that take one of these lines make it small like that just make sure it's 90 degrees just take a look okay they have that da, da, da. okay cool um we have date and number so this going to click right here on style and show you these points and then just increase the size to one from one to two, two. okay cool now add text now the final ones which is by the way, I'm making this for because it's gonna be black and white paper, so it's gonna be black and white. Cool. Now, I'm gonna duplicate uh, this uh, line here, increase it from 1 to 5, uh, five. Okay, cool. or less, or maybe 4. Okay. font is not uh, great but I mean you can change the font to whatever you like now we're gonna remove the rulers or the guides there we go I mean this is looks very similar to this I mean this is just uh, in blue and the one that I have or you can uh, do different uh, corners, like different than uh, like something similar to this one. Maybe you can find on Pixabay or whatever. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is it. And uh, actually, I'm gonna leave you a link to this so you can download it as PNG. 
or PDF and you can duplicate it however you want. Uh, but here's the thing, uh, that if you want to make turn it into a notebook. So just duplicate this, uh, control D, click multiple times, how many you have, here's 10, click on the last one and shift hold shift and click on the first one click on control c control v we have 20 we have 30 we have 40 we have 50 we have 60 we have 70 we have 80 we have 90 and we have 100 i mean it's a little slow i don't know uh yeah so we have 100 and what you can do if you want even more than that download it download the pdf print and go to I love PDF and combine two. Okay, just make a copy of 100, 100, and combine two. And there you have an interior of 200 um, pages. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I maybe it took a little bit longer because I was trying to show you how to make this stuff. And if you want to download this, you I'll leave a link down below. PNG format and, and what you can do with the PNG, just make uh, the um, just make. Uh, the board, uh, as I said, the rulers, okay, the guides, and make sure it's within the frame that you made, and then uh, just duplicate the page to whatever you like, and you can use it uh, as an interior. Leave a link down below for free. Or well, if you want to support the channel, thank you very much. And yeah, thank you very much for uh, watching. See you next video. Peace.